Hi, my name is Annette Galton. Many know me as Nettie and I'm a Kuma Kunja woman. I am one of the Aboriginal case managers here at the Wadja Aboriginal Family Place at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne. I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which RCH proudly sits on, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nations, and pay my respect to elders, past, present and emerging leaders. I would also like to acknowledge and pay respect to the many mobs around Australia who visit and receive medical care at RCH. We are creating this video to give you an idea of what to expect upon your arrival when you travel to Melbourne. We understand that this may be a very frightening time for you and your family, but we would like to let you know and reassure you that we will provide cultural and emotional support every step of the way. Okay, so now we're at uh, Ronald McDonald House. 99% of you will be staying here with us. Fantastic staff, and you're just across the park there to the hospital. So when you arrive, they come in, push the button, and the staff will come out and help you and show you around to the rooms. So the morning of your pre-admission, pre or just coming across here to visit your child in the hospital, it's important to come up along this footpath. You're leaving Ronald McDonald House and you must use the lights. We're going to cross over here, press the button, and we're going to go this way, okay? And it is important that we use the lights. During the day, you can use this access. If it's night time, we need to go up to the front entrance. On your way, you'll see signs like this, okay? We're going to head on over to this little bridge now. So we're at the end entrance. We have the revolving door here. If that's a little bit scary, then you can have this entrance here as well. Just hit the green button and the door will open for you. Sometimes you have to wear a mask. Just put your mask on before you walk to the door. We've now arrived at Royal Children's Hospital. This is our front reception area and our friendly staff will be able to assist you with all your inquiries. We come around this area. This is a clinical reception area. You will see the numbers up the top. This is for your pre-admission. Morning, afternoon, morning. <laughs> Still morning. We've now arrived at A3. This is where you'll begin your pre-admission. You'll spend the majority of your day in this area with the nurse. They will do the general observations of your weight, your height, and then you'll get to speak to all the doctors, the relevant doctors that will actually prepare you for your procedure. We also have here the meerkats. You can enjoy and relax in the seating area. So this is the area that you'll come after you've checked in. You'll actually take a seat here and then the nurse will call you in. You may need to come back here a couple of times to move through the next section. Our cardiac nurse will call your name. We'll follow them into this area here. We'll weigh you, we'll do the eyes, all the stuff that the nurses actually have to do. This is a full day process. It can be very, very tiring, but if we get here on time in the morning and we start early, we get to finish a little bit early as well. This is one of the rooms that you will more than likely have to come in and have your echo done. Our friendly technician will come in here, prepare this room for you. The lights will dim in this area and then you'll be asked to lay in the bed and then they'll do all the, you know, like all the photos that they need to do to have a look at your heart. So the green lift is on ground floor. To access this, you would have come past a creature. So now we've arrived at the green lift. This is the lift that you will use the most. When your child's admitted and had procedure, you will access these lifts to go to the third floor and access Rosella, ICU and Koala. Right now, we're going to head on down to Wadja Aboriginal Family Place. We're known as Aboriginal Case Managers at RCH, but you'll know us as Aboriginal Liaison Officers. It's your area. You can come down there any time. You can come down, have a yarn, have a cup of coffee. You can come down and watch some TV. If you're feeling a little bit a little bit isolated, if you're feeling that you're not comfortable, that's the place to come. The rest of the hospital is way up there, where it can get a little bit busy and a little bit overwhelming for our people. So our unit is down this area. You will see a sign, it'll say Wadja Aboriginal Family Place. Take notice of them, and you'll see our Wadja sign with the two flags. 
We're now in Wadja, the Aboriginal family place here, and this is our Wadja team. Hello! Hi, my name is Selena White. I'm an Imin Gungaloo woman from Central Queensland and I'm the Wadja manager. Wadja is a culturally safe space to you, your child and your family to be. Hi, my name is Sharon Monta. I'm one of the Aboriginal case managers and my mob is Minera and Nagarigo and this is your space. Hi, I'm Celine White. I'm Imin and we're Adri. We invite you to come and have a cuppa and a yarn with us. We'd love to see you and meet you all. Hi, I'm Alinta. My tribes of mob are Barkindji, Muddy Muddy, and yeah, this is space for all our families to come and um, take a second away from the big hospital. <laughs> we also have a kitchen here. You can make some cups of coffee. You can just sit down and have a good old yarn with us. Okay, if we come out through this door, it's another area where our families can come. It's a little bit of breathing space, but we also have the creation of the bunjil nest here. Bunjil is the, is the totem of the Wurundjeri people. The Wurundjeri people are the traditional owners of which this, this hospital, the RC8, stands on. We're now at the yellow lift, opposite the front reception area. In order to get to reception J, where you begin to prepare for your surgery, you'll need to take this lift to the third floor and turn right and cross the bridge. So now we've arrived on level three and we're going to take this bridge to reception J where they will prepare you for surgery. We are now going to theatre where we will meet the team and see the area that you will go for surgery. We're now off to see one of the surgeons. You've already done all your preparation. You've done your, your fasting. You've had a good sleep last night. You've had a shower this morning. And now you're ready for theatre. Hi, Christian. He's one of the ones who'll actually be looking after you. There will be lots of other people that are doing all sorts of different things. They are all important. Everybody knows Wadja. So these, let me introduce you, are the treetop people. And then we'll come through these doors and it will go straight on to I see you. That goes straight through those doors there. When surgery has completed, you'll come along here and they'll take you through to Rosella, better known as I see you. When your family will get the call, they'll come up, as I said, through the green lift to level three. They'll come along here. What they will need to do is push the black button and the ward clerk will actually let your family through. While you're in ICU, you will remain here until the doctors say that you are fine to go to Koala Ward, which will be the next stage of your recovery. As you improve, they will move you from ICU into Koala Ward. Hi Rob. Hi. I'm well, thank you. And yourself? <laughs> so this is Robin. We work with our families for a very, very long time. Hi guys. You have now arrived in Koala where mum, dad, grandma and any family member who are 18 years or older will be able to stay overnight. You will have your own space, your own TV, including your own bed. You will stay in this room until they say you're well enough to return to Ronald McDonald House. Then you will wait until you have your review in A3 where the doctors will assess to see if you're well enough to return home. Here are some of the friendly Koala nurses and Tracy Stanley from Heart Kids. You'll see Tracy and other Heart Kids staff around the ward. They are an important part of our support team. So don't be shy, say hello. We hope this video alleviates some of the worries you may have before coming to Melbourne. We hope it helps to give you a better picture of the Royal Children's Hospital, including our Wadja team, the nursing staff and the medical team that will do their best to look after you.